rains in that rainfall warning and you can see all the way up to Shibogamo, we do have rainfall warnings in place within Quebec. We also have that cooler air coming in, which will bring a swath of snow north of Superior and that will extend into Quebec too. So the fall. It's a really dynamic time of year, and this weekend certainly is proving it. Now, within Atlantic Canada, the rain all coming through this morning, the remnants of Philippe. In my opinion, the rain is going to be noteworthy, yes, but it's really more the winds. The winds that come through in places like Yarmouth and Halifax, gusting over 70, 80, even 90 kilometers an hour. Charlottetown, later this morning, close to 100 kilometers an hour. That swath of really intense wind continues to move through today. The most impactful weather in the Maryland times happening Sunday morning planned as we go throughout this weekend and I hope you have some waterproof clothing too if you are in Ontario Quebec or the Maritimes. The cooler air coming in. Lake effect rain is a huge story. We have been seeing some rainfall warnings pop up within southern Ontario, especially the south end of Lake Huron. Essentially, the cold air moves over top of the relatively warm Great Lakes and we see rain. If we were about 10 to 12 degrees cooler, this would be a lake effect snow event. And it certainly has been targeted and it really has been ongoing from yesterday today. Likely more intense for people within the GTA. We will be seeing those on and off showers. We will be seeing wet weather. Travel plans along the 401 out towards Kingston. Think on and off showers throughout the day today. And a cool one. So make sure you dress for it. You need the layers today. I had the seat warmer on in the car this morning. You kind of need it to feel extra cozy today. 10 degrees. That's it in the city of Toronto. Only 7 in Barrie. So this is below seasonal. This is cooler than we should be for the Thanksgiving long weekend. Generally, we should be about 15 to 16 degrees for this time of year. But Huntsville, look at that, only getting up to five. And snow, yeah, snow is in the story. So southern Ontario, south of the Great Lakes, this is rain. But to the north of this, we do see the cooler air meeting up with all of this moisture from Philippe. That's the remnants of a tropical storm in Atlantic Canada. It's bringing huge, heavy amounts of rain within southern Quebec. But within this section here of northern Ontario and into central Quebec, it will meet up with that cooler air tonight and wet snow is quite likely. So I just want to see 15 centimeters of snow in Timmins, generally about five, maybe eight centimeters. But it is early, but it is possible and we certainly have seen it. Now, no snow up and down the St. Lawrence, but lots and lots of rain. Montreal yesterday saw generally about 75 to 100 millimeters of rain. The winds will continue to whip today. We're going to see that within southern Ontario and southern Quebec back close to 50 60 kilometers an hour it's going to feel uncomfortable it's going to feel like fall the beautiful fall leaves will be wet and shiny and they'll be whipping around i know you can picture that scene in your mind right i i know i can it really is an october scene we'll feel it today so the rain continues for montreal and quebec city the rain continues across the maritimes the winds continue to pick up as we go throughout the day today i just want to show you a snapshot here as you're sitting down for the turkey Sunday tonight about 7 p.m., the rain should be done across Nova Scotia, PEI, and New Brunswick. The winds will continue to ease as well. Of course, power outages may be a concern as we go throughout the day today. And then some spotty showers do come back into the picture throughout the evening on Monday. Now, I know I've talked about a lot of stormy weather, so I want to end on a highlight here. Okay, check this out. Temperature through the prairies, just beautiful. And we're going to break down your national forecast right here. I'm Rachel Schutz and you're watching the Weather Network. Happy Thanksgiving Sunday. If the turkey dinner is just about to go into the oven, I hope it turns out great. I had mine last night with my family and it was super, super delicious. I actually am still full. No breakfast this morning, you know. One of those mornings. As we look at your temperatures this afternoon, speaking of the abnormal warmth, 25 degrees in Medicine Hat, yeah, that is way above seasonal. But you can see here, there is a sharp contrast of the cooler air filtering in across Canada. We got showers today, Thompson, Manitoba at 8, Winnipeg only 12. So you can see on the east side of the jet stream, you certainly are on the cooler side. And people in Ontario and Quebec, yeah, you're feeling that today. Cooler air filtering in over top of the Great Lakes. It's bringing in some lake effect rain. We're also seeing the potential for some snow north of the Great Lakes tonight and some really windy weather. It feels like October, maybe even November today across the lower Great Lakes. Yesterday, we saw this cooler air come in across Huron and that actually targeted places like London to see almost 50 millimeters of rain. So we did have some rainfall warnings in place across southern Ontario and they are likely to come in on and off again today because of this targeted rainfall and the cool air that continues to move through. You can see how much cooler we are. 
About five degrees below seasonal in Toronto, nine degrees below seasonal in Huntsville. Only five for that daytime high today. So cottage country, yeah, Thanksgiving up here. It is going to feel cool and fresh, nice and cozy in my opinion. That is the perfect kind of weather for Thanksgiving. Sweater weather. You can eat lots of cake and turkey with the sweater on, right? As we take a look at the system here, this is what's bringing in the northerly flow. This is what's bringing in a lot of that rain across southern Ontario. Very windy conditions as well. Montreal, the rainfall warning is still in place. You had quite a nasty day yesterday with tons of rainfall. Generally about 